second and my youtube channel in this lesson uh, i will teach you the third chapter of class 12 main reader deep water by william douglas this chapter tells how we can overcome fear we all know that fear is very much destructive for us fear completely kills our inner potential and if we will if we let it grow it becomes so dominant that it completely takes our uh, skill and potential so in this chapter william douglas described how he came to the power impact of fear and what kind of uh, problems he had faced due to the fear of water and how he overcome overcame it it means the more we let the fear grow it became stronger and stronger and uh, later on it, it becomes very difficult for us to control it so in 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 every phase of life fear comes to us maybe the shape or the figure of the fear is different but we appear in front of it and once we face it it removes from us it runs away from us but once we uh, once we run away from the fear the fear chases us after the last year of our lives so what is about it william douglas in this particular chapter describes how he overcame by fear of water and why why it happened uh, two incident happened to him one incident happened when he was a child he was completely drowned it means he, he he was overthrown by the power, by by a powerful wave he fell into the water and he he uh, means he was thrown by the powerful wave so that happened when he was a child uh later on when he was uh, uh, 9 to 10 years old another incident took place and that time this fear of water was too deep because he was going to lose his life he was sitting beside the pool and one muscular boy came and threw him to the pool so you will understand uh, this one and later on uh, he never dared to go to the water because whenever he tried to go to the water he found that the fear same fear came back to him and he was completely confused so later on he decided to uh, remove the fear out of uh, of his mind so he uh, took it instructor and removed the fear so this story tells how he was overpowered by the fear of water and how he won over it so this story proves that we all can do like him we can remove the fear out of water because it's too much destructive for our lives now let's start the text so here first of all we have to understand about the author the author is william douglas william douglas 1898 to that was born in maine uh minish minishta after graduate with a bachelor's of arts in english and economics he spent two years teaching high school in akima however he got tired of these and decided to pursue a legal career he made franklin do respect at hell so a little bit introduction had been given so the most imp uh, the important uh, part of this text is that this is an ex excerpt taken from man and mountain these uh, these following ex extract is taken from man and mountain by william douglas so the the most important part is fear and we have to stay out of it that is the most important part it means fear is too much dominant and we have to stay out of it okay so this chapter is mainly about william douglas the fear of water and how he overcame it, it means his his fight against fear and against fear and he proved himself as the best man as a best swimmer so uh, let's uh, see that here uh, you could see that the theme is uh, means uh, fear 
is very much destructive kills in inner potential so here uh, later on in our lives we ha will have to uh, remember that that we will never let a hell of so let's start the story so first of all i will uh, tell you a short summary of it and then uh, uh, i will go on so uh, listen to me here uh, let me tell you that the author had already uh, gone through such type of experience of drowning when uh, he was uh, three or four years old that time he had gone to a beach with his father and uh, a powerful wave came and struck him to the water and this fear remained in his mind for a short period of time but later on he decided uh, to learn swimming in ymca pool that's very important ymca pool uh, ymca uh, YMC means Young Men's Christian Association Pool and that pool was uh, connected to the Yakima River. Okay. So, in this pool he decided to learn swimming but uh, his mother uh, was uh, against that as he thought that the uh, pool was very much treacherous that could take the life of anyone else. Uh, I hope it's clear now. So, look at that what happened at uh, that time after this incident uh, when uh, he was 10 or 11 years old. He decided to learn swimming at the YMCA pool in Akima and that offered all the opportunities of, 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 of uh, learning how to swim. His mother constantly against that, mother continuously warned against him, here happened means uh, took place, you could understand, decided a uh, swim, opportunity means chance, okay, so please note down, <coughs> treacherous means which could uh, trap anyone so his mother was constantly against that as he thought that the pool could take uh, uh, sorry uh, uh, she thought that uh, uh, her son could die uh, she narrated uh, so many stories of drowning in the Yakima river but uh, William Douglas was determined he decided to learn swimming uh, Actually, and also later on, it was discussed that the pool was uh, not too deep. The pool was uh, one, one part, the shallow part was only two and three feet deep, and the last one is uh, nine feet deep. And the drop was gradual. Gradual means in a slow process. Uh, at at first step, two feet, then next feet, uh, three feet, then four feet, then five feet, and the last nine feet. So. Uh, what happened uh, to go to the, he, he, he purchased a pair of wings so that he could uh, uh, he could swim well uh, he always hated to walk uh, walk uh, naked into it so my my uh, skinny legs but I suddenly my pride but I subdued it my pride and did it so he he often uh, 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 d uh, decided to go to the water with his uh, body legs because he was very much ashamed due to his skinny uh, bone to his skinny uh, skinny appearance but that time he won over his pride and uh, did that from the beginning however had an aversion aversion means strong dislikeness unwillingness strong from the very beginning he had a strong dislikeness toward the water because uh, when uh, he was uh, 3 or 4 months old that happened so uh, in this particular paragraph, he said that uh, in in this particular paragraph, he, he said that that uh, at the very beginning he had a strong dislike toward water uh, because uh, uh, he had gone when he he was three or four years uh, old. He had gone to the beach of California with his father and uh, surf in a wave. A powerful wave uh, came and struck him, and he fell into the water, and he almost drowned. So this uh, due to this fear. Uh, he had a strong uh, dislike towards water. He did not go. He did not want to go to the water as he thought that he would, uh, he would uh, drown. Uh, and when he had gone, I have look at that paragraph. 
uh, once he had gone to the wamse pool his old his old uh, memories uh, came back uh, his uh, childhood uh, childhood fears came back but in the little very soon he gathered confidence and started paddling uh, his uh, legs just like the other uh, boys who were doing it means he was trying to copy all the other children who were swimming in that wamse pool and very uh, means with the passage of time he started feeling comfortable at that pool but at that moment the misadventure happened here at the at is at what when the misadventure happened here miss what is the meaning of misadventure misadventure means here he was thrown into the water by a muscular boy and that was the misadventure misadventure talking about i went to the pool where no one else was there the place was quiet uh, on the day later on one day he had gone to the pool and uh, he had gone in the absence of yonmin it means he was little bit he reached earlier than anyone else and that's why um, the pool was quite empty and he was waiting for somebody to come but generally what happened a muscular boy came he thought that william douglas knew uh, swimming and did not want to go to the water so to made fun he uh, picked him in his arms and threw him to the deep part of the pool uh, he did not do it intentionally he just tried to make fun of it and he was almost going to drown so the, that is the paragraph uh, after here from that to that here it is also uh, done here that muscular boy came and uh, threw him physical muscular okay 18 years old almost the boy uh, and then what happened then uh, william douglas uh, just uh, when he was landed on the water he thought that it would be very easy for him to come out of the water he thought that he would go uh, uh, once he would go to the bottom of the pool uh, he would uh, he, uh, he would uh, kick the ground with the joint legs and come up come out of the water like a cork but uh, when he was getting down it seemed sorry when he was going down it seemed that these 9 feet were 90 why it seemed because he had no experience of swimming he thought that it could be very easy but it was very difficult to the due to the pressure of water he was not uh, he was not getting down easily going down easily he was just coming up so his expectation did not come true then what happened uh, just uh, uh, when he suddenly means so when he was uh, going down Uh, under the water he thought that he, he, he very would very soon touch the bottom of the ground and he would uh, kick the uh, ground and come up like a cock it did not happen so what happened he got uh, scared and he opened his eyes and he found everywhere water it means uh, grab he let some what out grab means to hold uh, and then clutch clutch means same clutch means hold also suffocating means unable to take breath like that so uh then what happened i fell at the surface of the water so he made so many attempts it means when he was drowning in the water he made so many attempts and uh, uh every time he planned the same he thought that once he would go down he would um, uh, he would uh, kick the ground with joint legs and he would come up like a cork but uh, every time uh, his uh, his uh, plan got failed he could not do according to his desires so he was unable to and finally what happened uh finally uh, all of his strength uh, strength uh, had been uh, had been uh, over and he found that he was uh, he was lost into a state of unconsciousness and uh, after that he did not remember anything else he think he had completely forgotten what actually happened so here in this in in up to these paragraphs he had described uh, uh, about his struggle to come out of the water and finally he came out he was taken out by the sorry he was taken out of the water by someone else uh, and when he became conscious he became extremely uh, weak he was unable to walk uh, he took rest and uh, when he had gone home he was extremely tense and sorry he was in ex- he was in extreme uh, uh, sorry he was in extreme pain he couldn't uh, come out of his trauma and uh, later on 
uh, I went down endlessly and so in all these paragraphs he had described that uh, the struggle how he was trying to coming out but it was almost uh, uh, not possible and finally uh, he was taken out so these paragraphs had been given uh, several hours work I walked home yes that is misses it means the, up to this paragraph uh, he had described that uh, after many hours he had uh, come back home uh, he had lost all of his strength but the fear of water remained in his mind he couldn't be able to take it the fear was hunting uh, him everywhere so means and the fear had taken all the enjoyment out of his life he could not go for boating he could not go for canoeing he could not go uh, to take a bath in any water bodies so due to that fear he could not do anything else a few years later when i came to know the wonders of cascades it means this fear had totally taken his um, taken his uh, taken his enjoyment from his life as uh, uh most of his friends did that so uh, it lasted for many years he couldn't uh, be able to come out of it whenever he uh, whenever he planned to go to the water bodies to catch fish or for canoeing for boating this fear was again and again came back and made made him very nervous and sometimes he felt uh, that his body going to be paralyzed so he decided to to learn swimming once again with the help of a trainer so uh, look at that here uh, i used every way i overcame so here i used every way i decided to get an instructor here look at that from so he decided to take an instructor the instructor put a belt around him is the instructor had followed all the uh, safety steps he tied a belt and uh, sorry he tied a belt uh, sorry uh, william douglas uh, used a belt and the belt got attached to a rope and the rope uh, passed through a pulley and it was uh, handled by the instructor and uh, he controlled him during his swimming the instructor taught him part by part in the swimming how he could get everything and very soon it means the instructor had taught him everything in a very detailed manner the instructor did not the, sorry instructor took enough time to to make him able to be a perfect swimmer he taught him bit by bit and when all the parts of swimming all the skills of swimming were completely taught to him he joined them and william douglas became a swimmer but william douglas was not, not he was not happy he wanted to test it himself he thought that the fear could come back once again if you'd go alone to the water bodies so almost he had gone to all the lengthy water bodies and tested himself sometimes the fear came back in the middle of the water but he 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 made fun of them he told them that fear could not do anything so, and and so he swam from one part to another so here you could see uh, he tested means it means he was not satisfied he was not satisfied uh, here yet i uh, i had residual doubts at my first opportunity so this in this paragraph he said that he was not happy he did not uh, said he had gone to the warm lake uh, then he had gone uh, look at that at titan up con medios or conrad creek it means he had gone to all the water bodies and tested himself alone he thought that means he anyhow he did not allow to even uh, a little bit fear to stay in his mind he completely removed it in the absence of anyone and he defeated the fear and came back to his life so the story suggested that like him we all can come back in our lives we can uh, struggle with the against the fear and we can get back our lives too so again and again he wanted to make us understand that uh, that we should not allow the fear to control our life because if it will it, it control our life our life will be completely changed and we will we will lose all the positive uh, potential that we have okay so later on we will discuss the question answer of this chapter i hope uh, you will understand it and will support me if you are new in my channel please subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can you can get all the notification thank you